Howdy folks, Kirk and Jason here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. I have my youngest son Dan here too. Uh, he's been uh, in Sonora doing a lot of uh, entrepreneur work and construction up there. He's been there for like two years. Anyway, he's helping us on this house. And what we have here is a two-story house. And what we're going to do is the lath, scratch brown, and a maintenance-free color finish. That just means like a brick when you put it on the wall, it's forever. It will never come off. It's integrated with the stucco. That just means, again, it won't peel off, come off. It'll last hundreds of years. Those are color coat maintenance-free finishes versus a painted finish. And he said, what's the difference? And I said, well, if you paint, if I do a two-coat system and you paint it, every 10 years you got to repaint it. So he says, okay, I'll go with the color coat maintenance-free finish. A little bit more expensive, but not even as much as a paint job. Anyway, this is what we got on typical jobs. I just met here. Jay and I met with the homeowners uh, two days ago, and today we're starting. Uh, we bid it. I bid this five months ago. Anyway, so this is what we have. So you want to be a big-time stucco contractor? Well, I'm a medium-sized stucco contractor these days. I used to have 15 guys for 15 or 20 years. I don't do that anymore. I work with my family. So for the last 10, 15, we've been doing video. It's all family stuff. Anyway, for example, <laughs> Jay and I were looking at this, and we were going over with the homeowner, and I said, man, uh, we've got to figure out a way that the city says, hey, I like that, because we've got to put a weep screed here. And what's a weep screed? I'm going to show you that in a minute. So we can't put the weep screed directly on here. The city wants, if you're doing a deck, a roof, a front porch, a back porch. They want to see that weave screed off because if you ever need to change this, you don't want to tear off all the stucco. So somehow we've got to put a piece of metal in here, but uh, we'll, we'll figure that out later. What I'm trying to tell you guys or what we're trying to show you is the life and times of what we go through. And as we walk around, if you guys see anything that you say, hey man, how do you do this? How do you do that? Just write it down and we'll show it because we're not going to show a lot of stuff here. We're just going to do it and get out of here. Uh, for example, like this pillar. Now they had, this whole house had the weirdest texture. You, if I think it's weird, it was really weird. So they had a lot of wood rot all over the place, and they called me five months ago. They said, what do you think? I said, tear all the stucco off. It's very rare for me to say that. But there's a house over there. See with the red tile roof? We did that about six years ago. And that was the same thing. I was working with my buddy Larry Bielman. We had to tear all the stucco off because it was just, it's an old neighborhood. These houses are 100 years old and they had parapets. That means the parapets fail in about 50 to 80 years. So water gets in there. Anyway, so they tore all the stucco off and then now we have to come and look. How are we going to improvise with what we have to work with? So I, I looked at this and I thought, man, what, what are we supposed to do with that? He says, that's your job. And I said, okay, man, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to pressure wash and put a bonding agent. I'm going to build this up from scratch and give it a kind of a, a cool look. Um, part of being a contractor. With you guys, um, I'll, show you, I'll give you some tips on things. We're not really going to do anything in this video. I'm just going to show you what we do because we've been showing what we do for about 15 years on YouTube. So... Like, say, for example, uh, this arch. How are you going to do an arch? We're going to paper up to here. We're going to take this flex wrap. The bond makes it. And it fans out. So if the paper's right to here, I can use this and fan it out. And it'll come up this and it'll accordion out right here. Makes good corners. Uh, can I do it with just paper? Sure, I can. Is it worth the 300 bucks for this? I think so because it saves me a lot of time and it assures that these don't leak. Um, also, we got this straight flash. I'm going to show you why we got this straight flash. And it has three little pieces here. This is for existing windows with no paper. When you tear the stucco off and you have a hundred year old house, it's like, how are you going to waterproof those windows? I'll show you how we prefer to do them. Now, I'm working with uh, Dan. He's been back from... Uh, Sonora to help us out with this. Uh, and what Dan and I just did, this is uh, Dan, you guys remember him. What's up, guys? He helped me put this piece here. I'm going to show you just 
what we're doing over here. Now, Dan, um, Dan did this over here. Oh, by the way, too, loud compressor. Dan, you want to turn that off, the compressor, for a minute? What we're doing here, guys, is, you know, they've covered this because, why well, I got my shirt collar up? Because it is cold. It's really cold. It's been raining a lot, and the contractor had to uh, put the uh, plastic here a number of times because what happens if the rainwater gets on this wood? It swells it like a sponge, so he didn't want that. So when we got here, they're installing the... They're installing all of the vents right now, all the way around, so we can't work here, but we work, we're working together with everybody. How thick does stucco have to be? Seven-eighths of an inch. What if it's an inch? <laughs> no big deal. It's not going to be seen. This box right here has to come out seven-eighths. It's two inches, so I'll have to tell the guys, hey, you got to inset this for seven-eighths of an inch. And by the way, we're working for Tom Carroll of Carroll Construction. Carroll... Uh, construction. He's done about 30 of these uh, houses. I know I've been working for for 20 years. Uh, he does more work in uh, Alameda than possibly all the rest of the concrete uh, foundation specialists put together. He does. He just did this uh, two days ago. He raised the house, put a, you name it. He does it. He's going to put the concrete here, pave it out. He's going to do a lot of stuff. So you can. I'll put in the description Tom's number. Tom Carroll Carroll Construction. Uh, because I work a lot for him, and he works by the hour or by the job. You name it, he does it. He's got a huge crew, and they know what they're doing. Anyway, um, I think we're going to start on, on the other side. One more little bone about what we're doing and some of the things that you have to prep with. and You have to understand these things. If you don't understand them, the job can leak. And if I don't explain them, well, then that detail can hurt me because everybody expects me to tell them exactly what is necessary and what needs to be done beforehand, not after it leaks. So I'm going to show you some of that stuff. So I'll show you some other things about, when you want to be a contractor, you've got to understand all this stuff. Josh, uh, Josh here is Tom Carroll's right-hand man. Josh, what up, dude? What's going on? Uh, I'll, I'll show you what he's done right here and what he's doing. Right. And, and guys, this is stuff we got to explain to people, otherwise it'll bite us. So if you're in my position, you got to explain all this stuff. What is, see this curb right here? How can we put a weep screed here? We can't put the weep screed inside this because all the water will drain in here and rot out that mud cell within, within um, a year or two. So we can't do that. So what Josh is doing is he's taking this curb off it's an afterthought anyway, guys. It's not original. And he's taking this off here because they used to have a wall right here. And I thought, who would put a wall in a walkway? But anyway, that's gone. So he's going to remove this out of here. And excuse me, Josh. All right. Thank you, my friend. Um, so what that curb, he's taking that curb off because here's what we need, guys. <laughs> we need it. A, a clean plane like this because we are placing this weep screen. This weep screen needs to be below the mud sill to protect the mud sill so it's down here. So that's why Josh is doing that. Again, Josh is Tom Carroll's right hand man. <laughs> They're working in the back and they call me and say, hey, Kirk, where are we supposed to put the vents? And I, I said, Josh, <laughs> Josh, <laughs> you got this man. That's, I'm all I am is a stucco contractor, man. I'm not a GC, so Josh had to go back and tell him where to put it. I said, that's GC work, not, not us. I'll show you two also, guys. This is, this is one of the most well, critical. Now, we took all that paper off, and if it starts to rain later on tonight, now I'm responsible for these walls. So we're going to, any areas we took the, uh, the plastic off, now we have to uh, waterproof it. Here's what I... Suggest now. This was one of the main concerns of the GC Tom Carroll and the homeowner Declan. Uh, he said, "How are you going to waterproof this?" I said, "I don't know." <laughs> anyway, I told him, no, "I'm kidding, man. We know how to do that. What we do is now. You didn't hear me say this, but I'm going to take this rag and douse it in not alcohol because that just wouldn't be right. I'm going to clean this sill. So I'm going to have this, my gloves on and clean this. Put something on it." 
maybe gasoline, and wipe it down here. Why am I going to do that? Because this needs to adhere. What is this? This is a straight flash. You got one piece that sticks, and these two down here you pull off too. Uh, and what the best way to do an existing windows, guys, if you don't want it to leak, and since I'm now responsible because I took on the job, we put our paper right up to here. And then we take one of these, one solid inch. This is uh, four inch stuff. So I'm just going to show you guys. So if I have my paper right up to here, this will go on to my paper. And then because I clean this bottom from dust, dirt, and grime with gasoline or whatever I want to use, then I'm going to tuck this in here like this real tight and seal it like that. That's the way I like to do it because when the rain hits this, it's going to drip down and if it's windy, it'll go here and blow inside. And if this is not sealed, I mean, if it's not, it's a cold day right now. That's popping right off. If it was a hot day, I wouldn't be able to do that. But anyway, that's how I do it. Uh, you know, we make sure that these windows, when they're existing, do not leak. And then when we're done, we paper the sides here and put polyurethane caulking in there. Uh, but the idea is, if you start something and it's cold weather and it's raining, uh, you better know what you're doing, guys. Okay, folks, so you want to be a big-time stucco contractor. I forgot where I left off because we got rained out a couple times. But I'll show you where we're going now. And again, I just wanted to throw the bone to Tom Carroll of Carroll Construction in Alameda. does all the foundation, general contracting, lifts house, drops them, rebuilds them, you name it, he does it. His name I'll put in the description and how to reach him. But I'll, I'll show you where I think we were at. Um, the arches and the corner aids are done. The waterproofing of these solid surfaces, these are flat. So if I put paper on a flat surface, it's only a matter of time before water gets in there. You can't do that. You can put a membrane. So we're, we showed a few separate videos of how to do these corners because even even... Some of the best stucco guys, they have a lot of problems with that. This, when I get ready to do these, I'm going to freehand these. Uh, that's, I'm looking forward to that right there because I love doing that stuff. And what I showed beginning, I, I believe we showed, uh, I don't know if the camera will see this, but there's uh, how we flashed all of this. And we'll have a separate video on how to flash that in detail. So we flashed it and I pressure washed everything here because now I'm going to grout this in here. Just a caulking grout and match this right here. But that's, that's another day. Uh, I'll take you around and show you some of the things to expect if you're working in winter time. Uh, our job was to waterproof these walls in order for them to get the insulation and the sheetrock up. You can't have walls that are leaking if it rains. Tomorrow it might rain. So what we did is we had to waterproof everything. And yeah, there's still some things that they have to do here. They have to install some windows. They have the windows. They just installed that uh, vent today. And the garage door is two months out. It's two months out. So uh, I'll take you around here and I'll show you where we're at. We've went ahead and waterproofed all these walls. That was the idea. Waterproof the walls so that they, they can come in and keep moving and get the insulation, all the sheetrock done. And yeah, we still got to do this uh, electrical box. What they'll do is they'll remove this and we'll take our paper up and back and on top and then put a coat of stucco on there. You can actually see the old finish. You know, personally, I like uh, old finishes, but that one was... Uh, uh, I guess I'll politely say nasty. It was horrible. Um, walk around here into the minefield. And we'll just show you some of the things that we were, I believe I was discussing when you have existing windows, how to flash them properly. Uh, we do the straight flash on the bottom. DuPont makes it. And they're still doing some trim work. So I'm not, some of these windows, I haven't finished the caulking because uh, they, I don't want to be in their way where we're putting the uh, cart before the horse. In other words, I don't want to do something that they come back and, dish, and take apart. So this here is a uh, Sikaflex polyurethane caulking. What, what happens is they're going to redo this. 
what happens is with this uh, caulking here, you, you do your membrane, then you shove your paper in the key. These are stucco keys. Then you take some Sikaflex polyurethane caulking. There's a lot of different kind of caulking. If you're going to get one, get a construction type adhesive sealant, and that's what you put here uh, on the sides for the windows. I remember when we were working in Tiburon. <laughs> Come on, this way, Jay, watch all these landmines here, too. Uh, when I was working in Tiburon, this was 20 years ago, they used to say, we have to leave all the caulking. So the inspectors would see what we're, what we're using. You could use this or something comparable, but they, I mean, this is back 26, 27 years ago. They'd want to see the caulking we use because some guys just don't know the right caulking. Uh, it's got to last forever, and this, this stuff does, especially when you cover it up with stucco. Um, yeah, they have a few issues, like uh, <laughs> this was good. They had a big stump here, and they have to fix the foundation. This is what you call improvising, guys. They came, and they cut the stump out with chainsaws, and then they used uh, a stump grinder to get rid of it. They hit this plumbing line, and you can see right there where it's cut. You can see right there where it's cut, so they got to have a plumber come. And the cool thing is, you can see where this root grew right around the pipe. So I thought, wow, that is way cool. But the owner didn't think it was way cool when they hit that line. Anyhow, back to the front here, there's probably a whole bunch of stuff we did not address, like how to waterproof this area here. But we got our paper down to it, sickaflexed it, and then I wired it and cross-wired it so that we will get no hairline cracking. Anyway, guys, I wanted to uh, point out if you see anything that you'd like to witness done, let us know in the comments. I'm probably going to video these because I'm looking forward to free eye and eyeball these right here. Um, anyway, uh, my name is Kirk. There's Jason on the camera. One more thing. You see this finish right here? This is what they had. And again, I like old world finishes, but this was one of the worst finishes or one of the weirdest uh, finishes I've ever seen. You take a look at that. Now that's magnificent class. We did one like that. That's a knockdown dash. And those stones on the front window, those aren't stones. That's stucco. They just made it look like stones. We're pretty good at doing that stuff too. Anyway, my name is Kirk. Jason's on the camera. We thank you folks for watching. And as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, folks, as always, thank you for watching another Giordano Stucco video. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe so we can keep making them. And as always, we'll, we'll see, see you on the next one. one.